Okay guys, welcome to today's video where we're going to get started on a project. Uh, it'll probably be a three, maybe four part project. I'm not sure. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do. Uh, but basically what I'm going to do is build a robot out of this case from a GM PCM. Uh, story behind this is a mechanic that I uh, fixed instrument clusters for gave me a couple of boxes full of dead PCMs, ECMs, and uh, airbag modules and stuff, and said, here, you can have it, do whatever you want with it. And then it ended up sitting in the closet for probably six months now. Um, so I finally was like, I'm never actually going to do anything with these, so I gave them to my son to take apart. Um, so he took a couple of them apart, and he had this one apart, and was running around with it like this, and said, I want to build a robot, so I'm going to build a robot with him. Um, and this is kind of the basic design for it. We have our, our body already built for us. So, uh, this will be kind of the front end of it. And, uh, this will be the back end here. Um, so yeah, whole purpose of this video is so that way you guys can hold me accountable to make sure I actually finish this project. <laughs> Cause I always tell my son, I'm going to do this or that, uh, you know, kind of electronics project with them. And I never do. I never, I never actually get them done. I'll get started on them and yeah, just never get them done. But yeah, I, I have a ton of these different ECMs and stuff. And I just was like, here, take them apart. Ask me questions about what's inside it. So that way I could teach him a little bit about electronics and then, uh, after, I think this is actually the first one he took apart, um, he was like, yeah, I want to build a robot out of that. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, switch the camera view around so you can kind of see the general layout of the design of this thing, uh, like, what the plan is. Um, so far the only thing I haven't figured out is the battery pack for it. I know I want to do 12 volts, uh, because 12 volts is the most I can, uh, do for the motors. So that'll let me, um, put a little more speed into the stepper motors. Uh, without getting missteps. Um, so yeah, I, I know I want to do 12 volts and then probably just do like a little buck converter to drop it down to the 5 volts for this. But yeah, let's uh, move this camera around and take a look. Okay, so we've already kind of gone over the housing, so I'll just get that out of the way. The uh, brains of the operation is just going to be a Arduino Uno, uh, I believe. I may go with a uh, Nano, just because I have more of them. Uh, I have a lot of nanos. Uh, and then uh, for the motors, I'm just going to use these uh, 28 BYJ48 motors. Um, they come in pretty much any of your Arduino kits. I, I have a lot of them. Uh, and then I'm just going to 3D print some wheels that uh, just kind of slide on the motor there. And so, yeah, I'll have two motors in the back. And uh, hopefully <laughs> that'll be enough to steer it. Uh, I may have to put a third motor in the front and uh, something to control that with. And then just a proximity sensor uh, that will be on top of it. So that way it knows if it's going to run into something that can back up and turn. Uh, and I probably will uh, also incorporate a screen uh, putting... And yeah, so I'll probably put the screen like that coming out of the face there. And just kind of fill it in with a 3D print there. Uh, and then have the proximity sensor up on the top of the head, kind of, kind of like that. So uh, that that's kind of the general idea I have going for it, and and probably keep it in the Arduino uh, territory. But maybe I will step into the STM uh, world with it. So we'll we'll see where it goes there. I have a lot of these uh, blue pills, which they have a lot of options you can do with them so um not not 100 percent sure what the brain's going to be but most likely just uh arduino uno uh, there's plenty of projects like this out on the internet i just wanted to do one with my son and uh... so my goal with this project is to do the least amount of work possible so i'm uh, this 3d printed wheel that i'm using is something that i just found on thingiverse i'm hoping it'll work for me kind of doubtful that it's going to get enough traction being that there's no rubber band or anything around it so but i'm going to try my best to avoid having to design anything in cad i'm sure i will have to design this cover myself there's the plate for that uh, but that'll be easy enough and yeah i'll definitely have to design the uh, mount for the uh, proximity sensor um, so 
hopefully I can just keep uh, my, my CAD time to a minimum on this and my 3D printing to a minimum also. Uh, but yeah, I got it running in the background there, printing the second one of these wheels. Um, I don't know what I'll do for the front wheels. Uh, I'll have to figure that out. But the next video will go into actually detail on this. But right now, I just did this basic video to hold myself accountable, because if I put a video out there, I'll, I should finish the project. Uh, although I have videos on this and I uh, never really did finish it. Uh, this was supposed to be the finish. I, I was finally this week got around to, well, actually yesterday. I finally yesterday got around to writing all of the code to make this one work. And I realized that I uh, screwed up the um, net list on the pins here. So uh, I put these two, it, they're tied like this instead of, they should be one, two, three, four. I did one, two, three, four by mistake. So uh, yeah, screwed that up. So I got to fix this. Um, and I've kind of lost interest in, in that project because the uh, I was doing it to sell it to another company and the company wants it, but they don't want to sell it themselves. They want me to sell it to go with their product as like an accessory. And I'm not really interested in doing that. Um, I wanted them to just buy the rights to it and be done with it. I did, I, you know, I, I was okay with assembling some for a while, but I didn't want to do it forever. So I've kind of lost interest in uh, doing that. So if that happens, I'll end up making this whole thing open source. Uh, the original version is open source and it works. Uh, and then this was just all I changed was these LEDs, put some MOSFETs on there to run the LEDs, uh, pulse width modulated it all, and was like, cool, this is done. And then I realized, oh crap, the stepper motor's wrong. I, I set it up wrong in this one. It's right in the original, it's just wrong in that one. Um, so yeah, that's really all I had for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, uh, hopefully I'll finish this project and I'll see you guys in the next one.